All right, guys, welcome back to more. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. The voice of the quartz modulator is going to be a pain to remove. I'll pull up some of Bruce's old files and see how he disguised his voice back in the day. Got anything new here? No, no leads. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, guess I'll go back outside then. Yes. Hey, that girl. You must be Oscar. Was wondering when one of you vigilantes would show up. Of course, you're not the wildest thing I've seen around here. Guess it's not always smooth sailing down at the docks. Not by a long shot. I've seen all kinds of shady containers come through here. Too afraid to open them, though. Can't lose this job. So you join the watch. You got that right. I don't even want to know what I might find at some of these containers. But someone who can do something about it definitely should. I think I can help with that. Tell me whatever you can. My night just got interesting. Reach the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse. You went all out on this one, Belfry. Let's not make a habit of this. We don't have access to Bruce's credit cards anymore. I'm in. Time to find some owls. Good. The party's already started. Find a good spot to eavesdrop on the ballroom. Somewhere no one can see you. No one can know you're there. There's the ballroom. Looks like the party's in full swing. Why is it taking so long? The party will be over by the time they let us in. Are you always this impatient? Careful, careful, careful. Don't be seen. Yeah, I need him to walk away. Come on, man, walk away. Good. We'll impress the voice tonight. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Belfry, I disabled the security systems. Good job. The guards outside the control room were planted there by the court, so you can punch with impunity. Okay, good.
from outside the ballroom. Heading in now. Good work. Let's see how many owls have come to roost. Ready to record. Go get them. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayor's here. few matches. These people are going down. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget place the voice remembers still haven't found the voice yet i thought i told you that formal wear was required this evening this is formal wear it was this one over here no is that all of them oh, this guy over here Business is good. Great evening, Andrea. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, uh, of course. We'll have to continue this later. That's a match. Tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his terror. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Who he is. Ok, 
Okay, I don't see him anywhere. But where do I go? That's the question. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Chest? Can I open it? Yeah, got some. You know, I can't take phone calls when I'm working. What is this? And easy. Oh, oh. oh fuck, there's a camera here. Really? into a secret elevator. I can't track him. Weird. Somehow he went missing when he was between the floors. Mandel, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. What do you mean find 13th floor? Not be oh fuck me. Okay. How would I find it? Can I try playing the piano again? No, I can't. Ah. This should take me to the 13th floor. Belfry, I found one of those weird court doors. This must be it. On 
understood. Tread carefully. Speeches on vinyl. Talk about analog. They say an owl can turn its head all the way around to better see what is behind it, what might be trying to sneak up and strike. Okay, let's try this piano. What does it do? Thing left here. I guess to analyze. Interesting. Defeat the court members. Damn straight, I did. Come here. Looks like the voice called for a meeting. What were they looking at? Was that the piano thing? I guess. Plans. What else we got here? But it certainly cannot be underestimated. It is a predator after all. And so are we. Okay, never mind. Surprise, bitch. Already checked that. A history of Gotham architecture. The court must have been involved in the construction of these buildings.
Oh wait, hold on. The numbers must represent the years those buildings were built or renovated by the court. 1842, 1841, which one was the- Ah shit, this one was the first one. building are we no wait this one okay 1836 was this and it was the cops and this See it just over here. I'll take it. Gotham is an engine for progress, a paean to the might of men and money, a utopia, and we alone made it. potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that line. The only one hiding behind the mask is you, Miss Gordon. Jacob? Kate? How? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just our court is quieter about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, then his assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. 
You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Oh boy, a new enemy. Oh jeez. Okay. Motherfuckers.
come on. Montoya, it's Batgirl. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. Actually, I was there. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? That was the League of Shadows. I'll send you everything we have on them. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the commissioner could still be helping them. She didn't marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe. Isabella Haas. Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by police. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme has been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. We got new intel for the evidence board. Level 20. Nice. Isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the league without the cops stirring them up. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated. This is it. Alfred's playing right into Robin's trap. Mate, in two. Wait, how, how'd you... An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder.
loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. Can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. Fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Oh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Hmm. The decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound, we can make up for it. trying to pretend everything's normal. This isn't just about the League. Or the court. I can't remember Dad's face. Every time I think of him, he just looks like that stupid statue. And? And I have a photographic memory. Where I used to. How can I be that girl? Solve crime, fight bad guys. If I can't trust my own brain. Stay angry. And you aim that anger square at every wrong in the world. At least that's what I do. <laughs> but then... Alright, so with this, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Hope to subscribe, share, and comment if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out, everybody.